Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm doing something a little different to what I normally do. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to show what you can and can't do in offline mode for the Xbox Series X version of Flight Simulator. So, I figured this would be something that a lot of people were curious about, considering that the Series X version just came out today. I figured a lot of people might want to know, is this game even playable offline, and if it is, what you can and can't do. So yeah. In this video, I just wanted to go over that. So, I already have the game installed. Now, keep in mind, this is the digital version of the game, uh, installed actually via Game Pass. I do have a physical version on the way, um, but it's going to be here in a few days. So, yeah, um, basically meaning this is going to be a test of the game with all of the latest updates, at least as of launch day. Um, this isn't really really going to be a test of the physical release without any updates, so I won't be able to tell you if the physical version requires any updates to play. I actually don't know. Um, if it does, or if there's anything else that's weird with the physical release, I will make a separate video once I get my physical copy. But this is just going to be a, a quick test of the digital version installed via Game Pass. Thankfully, Microsoft does at least let you play Game Pass games offline, so that's that's kind of nice. But yeah, to uh, prove that I'm offline, let's go to the uh, network settings. And as you can see here, it says I'm offline. So I am indeed offline. So yeah, let's just boot up Flight Simulator. Now, I actually also deleted my save file. So I, just, I did that just to show you all what the first time boot up process of Flight Simulator is like if you have no internet. Because with the PC version of the game, you actually needed at least to be connected to the internet at the very least once. Um in order to actually enter offline mode. You had to connect to the internet once to boot up the game, then you actually had to go into the settings and enable offline mode manually, and then go offline, and then you could boot up the game offline. Um, I believe the newest update just allows you to go offline automatically though, but you still need a Microsoft account to sign in, and you still need to check for updates and all that stuff. So yeah, I just deleted my save just to prove that you can boot this game up offline on first go. So anyways, let's boot it up. So, one thing I will also say is that this game also takes forever to load anything. Um, this isn't really an offline specific thing, it's just, it's just an, a thing with this game. It just takes forever to load anything. So, there might be some long load times in this video. Um, and keep in mind, it's like this on the PC version too, it just takes forever to load anything. And you also can't skip these intro cutscenes, which is a little, anno yeah, a little annoying. So right away, um, when you first boot up the game, you just get this uh, title screen, which plays this really nice looking movie, I'll, I'll admit. But if we press any button to start, um, the, one of the first things the game will tell you is due to an unexpected error, your game license cannot be authenticated. To access online services, uh, you must sign into the Microsoft Store and to Flight Simulator with the Xbox Live account that was used to purchase Flight Simulator. Now... This message might seem kind of um, kind of horrible because it, 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 I guess on the surface might seem like you can't use the game offline. However, you can just press OK and it just takes you straight to the first time setup thing. So here you can just uh, change a bunch of other settings. Um, I'm actually going to turn up the, um, the in-game volume just a little bit so you can hear it a little better. Probably to like here. So yeah, it's, this is basically just the first time setup thing. You could just change some of your options. Uh, apply and save. And then after that, it's going to do some loading. And like I said, this game just, it takes absolutely forever to load. So yeah. <laughs> All right. And oh, now it's just going to pop up with this message. Yeah, it, 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 it takes... It takes forever to load, even on PC. Even with an M.2 SSD, this game takes forever. I, I can't even imagine how bad it is with like a normal hard drive. All right, there we go. All right, so here it'll also ask you if you want to use satellite d data streaming or no world streaming at all. Now, it, th so essentially the satellite data streaming, it basically just streams a bunch of satellite data from the internet. Um, which makes the environment look a lot 
better. It makes it look a lot more realistic because it's literally just using satellite data. If you turn that off, it just uses uh, generic placeholder models and stuff like that. This actually needs a pretty fast internet connection, but this um, doesn't need internet at all. It does say down here you will still need a constant connection for authentication, but that's actually not entirely true as we will show you. So we just hit next and hit next again. And then it, it'll just give you some assist options. I'm actually just going to keep everything at easy just to show you everything. All right. So now we'll sit through another loading screen. I think this one's relatively fast, though, from what I remember. But yeah, loading screens in this game are pretty slow. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so now we are in the main menu. And as you can see here, there really is, isn't much you really can't do. So the one thing that's very noticeable is that the marketplace button on the top is actually grayed out. So you can't actually use the marketplace. That's pretty understandable. The marketplace is literally for like buying DLC and stuff. So that's, that's understandable why that's not accessible offline. But every other option here is indeed accessible offline. In fact, actually, I don't know what happens when you hit the news button. Oh, wow. It actually does hit uh, take you to a news thing, I guess. But yeah, uh, through here, you can change a few options. Um, now, in here, there's actually a data option. As you can see here, it does say online functionality is enabled, but we are also offline. So I'm just going to turn that off just to um, hopefully make things a little easier for the game. I don't know if that, I don't know if keeping it on will break anything, so I'm just going to turn it off for now. But you can actually turn this off if you want to block the game from using any online features, even when you're connected to the internet, which is a pretty cool feature. And it also tell you down here uh, your current data consumption if you're playing with streaming enabled. And you can even hit, like, you could set data limits and stuff like that. You could also turn on a rolling cache, which um, if you have streaming enabled, it, it, what the game will do is it will actually download the satellite data that it's streaming and actually save it locally to your hard drive so that way it won't need to stream it ever again and you can also set a, a file size limit to that which is pretty cool but um yeah um to show off what the offline mode is like i'm gonna go to one of the discovery flights because this game um does have a few places which are actually handmade by the devs and have like handmade assets and stuff but you can still explore the entire planet offline the entire planet is still accessible to fly around. You can still do whatever you want. You can, like, if you want to go, like, I don't know, like, right here specifically. Like, you want to you wanna go, like, right here? You can do that. Um, the game will totally let you do that offline. But to show it off, I'm just going to go to one of the Discovery Flights. I'm going to go to the Pyramids of Giza, because why not? The Giza Pyramids. And just to show you what the offline mode actually looks like because honestly it actually doesn't look half bad now it's not going to look as nice as when you have streaming enabled because with streaming it'll actually stream in a bunch of stuff from satellite stuff but in offline mode uh it's just using entirely local data that's actually stored on the hard drive which means um it's going to have a lot of repeating textures. It's going to have a lot of assets that look the same. A lot of the buildings will just look like generic buildings. A lot of them will probably be repeated. It's not going to look as nice, but it's still going to look pretty good, honestly. I think you're going to see that right around now. There we go. So, yeah. This is what the game looks like in offline mode, graphically. So, this is specifically Egypt. Now, how good the game looks... In offline mode pretty much entirely depends on where you actually fly like right now I'm you know in Egypt I'm flying near the pyramids and everything and right now it looks pretty good but if you fly to like like a really mountainous region for example I've noticed that the game honestly does not look great in mountainous regions uh, I tried flying to Mount Everest for example and it looked terrible um, it was it kind of looked like just a flat texture and there's not really a whole lot of detail in anything i mean the mountains were there it's just they weren't detailed at all but you know something like the pyramids for example are pretty detailed even in offline mode and 
we'll see them like right around now. Actually, I could probably increase my engine a little bit. But yep, this is what the pyramids look like, even in offline mode. So yeah, they, they, it still looks pretty decent. Um, but it's not going to look as nice as if you're playing with online stuff enabled. But you can still totally play the game, and you can still do pretty much everything. Um, the game also has stuff like activities, so you can do... Um, I know the game has a bunch of tutorials and stuff right here. I have no idea if it actually saves any of the progress through the tutorials, but you can do any of them in any order you want, so I don't really think it matters too much. But, yeah, I haven't tested to see if it saves any progress, but it, you can do... A bunch of different challenges you can visit a whole di whole bunch of different locations and do stuff which is pretty cool and all that stuff i have confirmed does work offline i just don't know if it actually saves any progress but um i guess to prove how the game might look um actually you know what? let me show you how probably one of the worst examples of how this game looks in offline mode let's let's go to mount everest so this is just to show you how the game looks in offline mode and now these screenshots that are taken right here these were taken with the online mode enabled so they have all the satellite data and everything so these screenshots look pretty nice but you will see what it looks like in offline mode in just a second after it loads and it's going to take a million years to load because yeah load times are really long all right there we go and yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really look all that great. Now, all the terrain and stuff is there, but it kind of looks like it's just like one big flat texture. Um, there's really no detail in the mountains at all, and it really, really doesn't look all that great. The clouds still look fantastic. The clouds are all really, really beautiful looking, but yeah, the environment itself just... It looks pretty bad. Um, the terrain, like I said, is all there, but it kind of just looks like a, like an unfinished environment. There's just no detail to any of the textures here. And this goes for pretty much most of the mountainous regions that I've seen in the game. This is probably one of the worst ones that I've seen. Um, yeah, a lot of the mountainous regions look pretty bad. But, you know, like stuff like cities or... Um, you know, like a lot of flat areas, honestly tend to look pretty all right. And that is kind of the sacrifice you have to make when you're storing the entire planet locally on a hard drive or an SSD or whatever to be loaded offline. That's kind of the sacrifice and fidelity you have to make because this game is only about like 100 gigs. So storing all that stuff in, within 100 gigs, you're, you're going to have to make some sacrifices to the graphics. Uh, I believe the satellite streaming data, I think, in total takes up terabytes of, of storage, so... Yeah. <laughs> in order to get the game down to a somewhat reasonable file size, um, they definitely needed to make some shortcuts to, the, to that offline mode fidelity, but... You can explore the entire planet offline. You can really just go anywhere. I'm just gonna... I don't know, pick some random location. I'm just like... I don't know, let's pick, like, right here. Why not? Like, literally right here. Just some random location. And just hit fly. And you can go there. <laughs> you can do that. I have no idea how long this will take to load, because I don't know how detailed this area of the map is. But, yeah, you could really just go anywhere in the world, even in offline mode. It's just, the, the downside is, it might not look fantastic depending on where you fly. Especially these random locations. Oh, wow. Okay, why am I upside down? I have no idea why I am upside down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as you can see, this uh, area of the map, it's very flat. This area looks very, very flat. But as you can see, it, it doesn't really look all that great. <laughs> um, and that's just because... This, this whole, it's just rendering the entire planet. You can go anywhere on the planet, but, you know, some areas are going to look way better than others. But yeah, you can indeed play through pretty much the entire game. You can do pretty much anything you want in this game offline. Just note, graphically, it might not look all that great. 
but yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to share in this video um if you like this video please leave a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys later goodbye